Welcome back, Gadgeteers. I don't know if you've been keeping track of this XZ backdoor utils. That is a very dangerous thing, and many of the Linux distros have been affected. One of which is Fedora 40, also known as Rawhide, which is a version that has not come out yet. So if you're on the beta version, you're on Rawhide, you're, you're testing Fedora 40, you would want to do an update. Here's what's really scary. The back door got, was discovered by Andreas or Andre Freund. Forgive me if I mispronounced your name and tore it to pieces. Uh, who's a software engineer at Microsoft and he's also a maintainer in some Linux packages. I'm not sure which. Anyway, he stumbled on this and if he hadn't, there's no telling how long this would have went on before it was discovered or if it was even discovered. Very scary. So the version that they're having trouble with is 5.6. Oh, by the way, before we get started, Zel, Zelja, Zelka, Go, Zors, uh, HelpNet Security, March 31, 2024 from helpnetsecurity.com released this article very helpful very very helpful actually and very succinct so what is xz utilities well it's a tool that we compress and decompress files for and it works on the command line and the files are uh, have an extension of .xz that's about all i know but i'm assuming it's like something you might use um, like 7-zip or other applications to compress files to make it more manageable and to transport it back and forth easier. So it wasn't just changes in the XZ utility. That's what's really scary. So this person's probably made other changes that we are not even aware of yet. Um, apparently he made some changes to OSS Fuzzer. I'm not really sure what that particular app does. I'll have to go check it out. Mark from the future here. I can't believe I didn't know what OSS fuzzing was or just fuzzing in general, but basically it's a utility that you can use to check your code, have a look at it, look for security vulnerabilities or problems like buffer overflow. Very good tool and if you're writing code, definitely should use this. He was able to get OSS fuzzer to exclude XZ utilities from the scanning list. Wow, that's that's amazing. Red Hat did confirm that Rawhide, just like we were talking about, is affected. I'm sure, okay, I, I say I'm sure, but I ha I don't, I'm not running it, so I can't say that, but I was about to run it. I was about to put Rawhide on my older MacBook. No, sorry, it's not a MacBook. My older ThinkPad P1, because I want to learn how KDE works with all the applications I use. So my concern was going to Wayland versus Xorg. So still got to find that out. Anyway, Fedora 40 beta and Rawhide are affected and the affected versions are 5.6.0 and 5.6.1. Very concerning. So the first thing I did of course is do a check. I wanted to know which version I was running, so I did a not clear. There we go. We'll do a DNF list and we're going to grep for XZ. So let's find out what's going on. This one we can pretty much ignore, but this one up here, this is the critical one that we want to look at. And we can see that 5.4.4 1 is much older than 5.6 or 5.6.1 so fedora 39 at least for now is safe i say at least for now but there's no way they're going to send up 5.6 into the distro and cause a problem so run your update and install program in this case i run dnf if you're on uh, some of the other distros you use apt um, especially Debian. So run it and see which version you have 
you can also use DNF to downgrade. Now, I can't tell you if apt can do that, but I assume that it can. Um, so you might want to look at that. If you're on the version that is 5.6, you may want to do a downgrade and consider getting that on your system. Debian maintainers said that no Debian stable versions are known to be affected. So if you're on Debian stable, you'll be okay. Uh, that's the distribution of Debian that um, kind of has a glacial change to it, very slow, but it also is not affected because of that. So that's a good thing. Um, they have some other one, other ones that may be affected, Debian testing, unstable, and experimental. For those who are on that, you're urged to update the XZ utils package. The problem is, yes, many will do updates, but as is typical with this type of exploit, there will be tens, hundreds of thousands, possibly millions worldwide that will never do an update and quite simply don't care. And they may have server farms and uh, they don't do the updates that they should do. If you're running Linux, check your system, make sure you're doing your updates, Find out what your current version of XZ is. If you can't get a version that's higher than 5.6, maybe downgrade. You can do that. Uh, DNF lets me upgrade and downgrade, so that's a possibility. You need to be protected. So you may not have SSH public facing open to your computer. Uh, that's a good idea. It depends if you need it remotely. If you do, get this taken care of, and I'm going to say you should be okay, but there's really no way to know. All right, with that, I want to say thank you for watching. Stay safe. See you next time on Fast Gadgets.